<laughs> yeah. It's a Super Bowl party. Come on. What everybody <laughs> wants is a bunch of celery. Yeah. On, <laughs> only with buffalo chicken dip. Well, you got a good <laughs> point there. KDK meteorologist Kristen Every now. What about the forecast for the next oh, day or two? Uh, definitely going to be a roller coaster for temperatures as we head through the next seven days and we're on the downside now. Temperatures falling about 20 degrees over the past 24 hours and we have a few snow showers still lingering through the area, mainly down to the southeast of Pittsburgh and through the Laurel Highlands. That's where the cold front is touching off chance for some light accumulations of snow in through portions of Fayette County, Somerset County, down toward Garrett, Tucker counties as well. That will continue to pull off to the east as we head through the overnight hours and you can see areas down into central southern West Virginia over into Virginia. It's rain changing over to some snow. They could get a couple of inches of snow in some areas of southeastern West Virginia, even over into western Maryland. As we head through the rest of the night, though, we'll start to see skies clear and the temperatures continue to fall. We're at 25 degrees in Pittsburgh right now. A north northwest wind behind that front that that's giving us a wind chill that feels like 15. So the high today only made it up to 39, but we're falling fast. Temperatures are in the 20s around the area. We'll continue to fall into the teens, even close to the single digits for areas up along and north of I-88. Franklin, Meadville, Oil City could easily drop down to about 10, 9, 8 degrees. 25 in Pittsburgh now, 22 in Butler, Washington, Greensburg, Morgantown, all reporting some light flurries and some mid to upper 20s. Look at the low temperatures today night down into the teens. There are those single digits up to the north, but then tomorrow we only recover back up to the 20s again. Monday still chilly for Valentine's Day. Then look at this bounce. We're all the way back up close to 60 degrees by the middle to end of the week before temperatures fall off again. So here's future cast. We get that area of snow out of here by tomorrow morning in through the Laurel Highlands. Then we have a fairly nice day with some sunshine, but chilly temperatures in the 20s. Then we have another little disturbance that will touch off a few snow showers here and there. Maybe a flurry, maybe a brief snow shower in spots later tomorrow evening after 5 or 6 p.m. Not really looking at much of anything, maybe a little coating over into the Laurel Highlands. That's about it, though. Other than that, we have dry weather to start Monday and into Tuesday. Next round of precipitation will hold off until Thursday, and it will start off as rain with those temperatures in the 50s. So tonight, excuse me, tonight, 17, your overnight low, getting all choked up over the cold temperatures. 17 tonight with a few scattered snow showers, especially south and east tomorrow, 28. Partly sunny. We could see a flurry or two tomorrow evening in spots. And then here's your seven day forecast 28 tomorrow, 26 on Monday for Valentine's Day, sunshine on Monday, 38 and sunshine on Tuesday. And then here's that big bounce up 56 Wednesday pick day of the week with 56 and partly sunny. Thursday, a good portion of the afternoon will have rain showers. We could see those mix with or change over to some snow showers Thursday night into Friday morning. Friday, we're back down to 34, but we're back up into the 40s for next Saturday. John.